Hello everyone and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're taking our first look at Star Wars Conquest, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Mountain Blade Warband, it sort of combines RPG, RTS, and like direct combat elements in the same game. Uh, so you'll see as we go through it, but it's a lot of fun. I used to play it a lot, but that was like seven years ago. So I do have some experience in the game, not a whole lot, but uh, and not recently. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through a Galactic Conquest uh, so I guess we'll just start up on that right now. So you sort of create your character, you uh, upgrade all your stats like a normal RPG, uh, there's a lot of story-based elements you go through, you can manage your army, make your own faction, join other factions, uh, fight in the actual battles. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a Rodian. You spent your early years traveling throughout the or traveling around the galaxy with your parents. Your father was a Force-sensitive warrior we're going to go with. And since we have so much Imperial content in the channel right now, we're going to join the Rebel Alliance. Uh, using some of your local contacts, you eventually arranged a meeting with a Rebel Commander. After working with this unit for several months, you have been given a small ship and sent to Yavin 4 to pledge your loyalty before Mon Mothma herself. Start to navigate the galaxy. So we're going to do... We're going to allow ourselves to save without quitting, or quit without saving. Just because... It, mods can sometimes be unstable, so I don't want to take that chance here. I've done a fair bit of exploring myself. Uh, not a whole lot, really just like played for half an hour to make sure that it all worked at least reasonably well. And it all seems to be good, so uh, I'm going to just quickly go through our original character creation here. Cory, Iron Flesh, that gives us health. Let's get a little bit more from looting. Uh, leadership is always good. And let's do some Force Mastery. And I guess we will get... What does Tactics do? Increase the starting battle advantage by one. Uh, so let's do that. And I want to do pretty heavily into Force Powers. I don't know what those will actually be. I haven't used any Force Powers yet. But we'll put a lot of it into one-handed weapons and rifles and a little bit into pistols. Because we want to be in a decent position to start off at. Um, one of the biggest issues I had when playing Mountain Blade in the past is that uh, I would die a lot early on and I'd lose a lot of my initial stuff and I don't want that to happen here. Uh, I think the skin tone is the only thing we can customize here. So we're going to make them as young as possible and go with that. So it's a period of civil war. The Galactic Empire is in constant battle with the Rebel Alliance while the Hut Cartel looks for opportunities to make money and expand their area of rule. Whatever course you take, a great adventure awaits you. So, ooh, there's a lot of pirates nearby. We're going to go straight for Yavin. Let's uh, let's go to the main hall first. We'll speak directly to Mon Mothma. None of these guys want to speak to us. A lot of the rebel troopers are kind of jerks. But this person is allegedly Mon Mothma, so we'll speak to her. Ooh. Uh, I am Cory. Do I know you? I am Cory. I'm Mon Mothma, the ruler of the Rebel Alliance and the lore of Yavin 4. So some of the text is still kind of... Uh, like the medieval low fantasy style. It, some of it's a little bit out of character for Star Wars, but we'll go with it. Do you have any... Let's... I wish to ask you something. Want to the location of someone? You don't know where we want Kenobi is. What are you and your troops doing? We are resting at Yavin 4. Uh, how goes the war? We are at war with the Galactic Empire. Tell me more about the war with the Galactic Empire. We have three armies and they have 12. Overall, we are about to lose the war. All right, that's not good. Uh, I'm not going to ask her to play Pizak. Do you have any tasks for me? Some time ago, I loaned out a considerable sum of money to Admiral Akbar. 3,000 credits to be precise. They were supposed to pay it back within a month, but I haven't received a credit from them since. That was months ago. You can collect the debt from them on my behalf. I would be grateful. I would even let you keep one-fifth of the money for your trouble. What do you say? Sure. If you leave now, you should be able to find them at Dak. I have no doubt that they will be suitably embarrassed by their conduct and give you all the money that is owed. I will talk to Admiral Akbar on your Oh wow, we're collecting a debt from Admiral Akbar for Mon Mothma. This is just weird. You made me very happy by accepting this, Corey. Please talk to Admiral Akbar and don't leave without my money. Alright, so we're gonna go to uh, the planet's surface and just explore a little bit. I have explored a bit of this. Uh, there's not a huge amount, 
but it does look nice, so I figured we'd come back here. I kind of want to take the helmet off while we're still talking to people. But I don't know if I'll be able to put that on during a battle. Should be able to. What's our body armor going to be like with that versus... Yeah, I guess we'll stick with the ugly clothes. That sucks. Who's this guy? What can you tell me about the capital planet? Welcome to Yavin 4, sir. Our planet and the surrounding zones belong to Mon Mothma, the Rebel Alliance. We mostly produce hydro spinners, Ewok furs. Okay, lash or silk. Oil and dirt steel, flower wheat, spice and curly and ale, and nerf beef here. If you would like to learn more, you can speak with our planet administrator. He's, right, he's nearby right over there. I don't know who that would be. Oh wow, HK, 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 HK. I'm your biggest fan. Well, you look, you're walking like something's going wrong down there. Hey, sir. How's life here? Times are hard, but we must be thankful for what we have. Latest rumor, I heard that Inquisitor Jace Yasko had a squire executed because the unfortunate man killed a deer in his forest. That is, that is not, that is not Star Wars. Uh, I think we're going to go straight for the cantina after this. This any, oh, this is the cantina. Uh, you don't like me? Uh, I have the death sentence in 12 systems. Uh, I'm not worth the effort? What? Okay. You don't have to kill them. I kind of want to see what happens if I did have to kill them. Usually the bars are where you find all the characters you can recruit, so I'm going to... See what we can find. Good day, sir. You look new here. So first word of advice. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Just be cautious. Anyway, how can I help you? Uh, I want to make some money. Are there any contracts? So you reckon yourself a bounty hunter, huh? Yes, and nothing very complicated. A simple farmer named Wirin of Mandalore who has a territorial dispute with a local businessman at Dagobamoon. He is armed, but not really dangerous. You go, you finish him, and you return for your payment. It will be about 300 credits once finished. Uh, let's do it. That's excellent, Cory. The customer will be so grateful to have them found. Once you deal with this, just return here for your reward. Well, good hunting to you. Are these real characters or are these... ...and ocean? Don't bother me or I will grease you. Sorry I bothered you. Oh no. Okay. I look female. That is definitely not Chiss. Let's give him some credits though. That didn't give us anything. I regret giving them my credits. None of these guys have actual names, so I don't think we can recruit any of them. Wookie female. Looks like a Wookie cosplayer. Yeah, so we've got no one with an actual name. Uh, we can recruit some troops from the bartender, though. Need to hire some soldiers. I know a few fellows who'll be willing to follow if you had paid for their equipment. Which you notion? Let's hire a Wookiee. Two Wookiees. I kinda wanna I wanna get people who look like they know what they're doing. They cost a lot of money, those ones. We we'll get a Mon Calamari as well. Ooh, let's get another Rodian. We're Rodian, they're Rodian. Everyone can be Rodian. Well, let's see if we can. What does Pizak got us? All right, Pizak is played with the same rules as Blackjack. Okay, thank you. Uh, bet. Let's bet 25 credits. Mm. 
It's risky. Stay. Oh my god. Okay, well we can't risk that again. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna save just in case stuff happens. The game crashes. Or people sit backwards in chairs. Alright, so we do need to do some of those contracts if we can. Uh, let's see if there's anywhere else we can go. Can I get out? Enter the arena. Is there anything we can do here? I don't think there's a tournament on. Good day, friend. If you came to watch the tournament, you came in vain. There won't be a tournament here anytime soon. To see this place during one of the tournament fights. Everyone from the planet comes here. The crowd becomes made mad with insight. Excitement, not incitement. Anyway, as I said, there won't be an event here soon, so there isn't much to see except there is an official duel every now and again. Then, of course, we have melee fights almost every day. The fighters and knights get bored of waiting for the next tournament, so they have invented the training melee. It is a simple idea, really. Fighters jump into the arena with a weapon. There are no rules, no teams. Everyone beats at each other until there's only one fighter left standing. Their reward? Some of the wealthy citizens in the... Uh, and offer prizes for those fighters who show great skill in the, in the fight. If you can beat three opponents before they're going down, you're in 25 credits. You'll get 50 for breaking down at least six, 100 if you can defeat 10, and 200 if you can survive long enough to beat 20. Uh, let's do it. You'd have to be out of your mind not to, of course. The melee fights are open to all. Actually, there's going to be a fight soon. You can go and hop in if you want. First, let me explain. The different types of fights. Most fighters prefer one of the classic ones, which use either vibro swords or blasters. Those are some that use either random weapons, hollow droids, or lightsaber fighters if you want to challenge. Let's do uh, vibro swords and energy shields. I want to get some money. This isn't the most Star Wars-y, but we're going to get some, some credits before getting into the real lore. That didn't go well. Can we do that again? But the bruiser's boarding, but don't worry, everyone gets trounced once in a while. The important thing is to pick yourself back up and dust yourself off and keep fighting. That's what champions do. Uh, ooh, we can also train some of our troops up. I forgot about that. Put the melee fights. I'm ready to fight. Not bad. I think if we get one more, we get a good reward. Grab your sword too. Oh god, his arm. Where's the next guy? Uh. Alright, so we got at least some credits for that. That's good. Uh, we're gonna train some of our troops now. 50 credits, so we made back our Pazak money at least. Uh, I'd like to spar with some of my troops. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, 
There are currently two troops on team one, which we'd like to add. Rodian. Finish with team one, let's move on to team two. Okay. Rebel recruit. Rebel recruit. Begin the match. Right, I want to get off my bike. We need to hopefully train up so we don't. Where's my lightsaber? be a tournament anywhere. There will be tournaments held at Dantooine, Geonosis, Dak, Hoth, Coruscant, and Serapin. Alright, let's leave. Let's leave entirely. I don't think we can... Deal with those guys. Uh, how do I get... what's... everything. Action management options. Oh, we can... so we can set our own culture to be pretty much like any of the historical... Uh, we can choose like droid... if we're gonna make our own faction, I think I'm gonna ask you guys what we wanted go for later on in the series there. But... Wait here, just for... No! Nine troops against their twelve. Land and fight on Yavin. And... Our troops are ready for battle. We'll get off the speeder bike. Actually... See if I can do anything... Maybe if I can like draw their fire... ...and take out a few people. Wow, that's... Can I get my lightsaber out? I don't think I can. Okay, they're gonna slowly get drawn in. That's okay. Where's my lightsaber? I really want to know where my lightsaber is. They appear to mostly be focusing on me, so... No! This is kind of a waste of experience, but I don't want to lose our soldiers, so... I'll take the waste of experience if we win the fight. The 
bike's gonna explode soon. Oh, that was an alt tab. There's only two left. I'm gonna try to get up to them. We did lose one of our soldiers, like dead, dead. Right, there's one or two left. It's the one. I think we're okay. Hooray! Victory is ours. <laughs> All right. Twelve kill. Continue. Access the item pool. Plasma gas cartridges. I don't know what that's. Okay, so I could have used the lightsaber, but. Heroes will automatically grab items. Well, we don't have any heroes, so why not? I don't want those ships to find us. So we'll go to the battle station now that they're all gone. Approach the plan and contact the guards. Request a meeting with someone. There's no one here. So I don't think there's anything we can do there. We'll go to the Yavin 4 outpost. Approach the plan and contact the guards. Anyone here? No. So let's see if there's let's see if there's anyone here. Go to the main hall. There's some soldiers. They're usually kind of mean. Yeah, on silent. There's no one. That's probably just another regular soldier. Can I loot these boxes? No. Okay, so let's uh, take a walk around the site. See if we can find anyone cool. Oh, we got farther away. I'm surprised we haven't met anyone yet. Nobody wants to join our little merry band of thugs. So I don't know if we're going to join the Rebel Alliance directly or if we're going to make our own faction just yet. Uh, I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments. Should we join the Rebels or should we start making... No, I, I we'll, we'll do that eventually. I'm not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. But... For now, we're probably better off joining the rebels and then maybe leaving them later. I don't want to, don't want to jump the gun here. Can't get too excited. Leave. Uh, we should be able to get to Ruria pretty safely. Ooh, yeah, we can upgrade them. Upgrade to Rebel Cadet. Upgrade to Rebel Cadet. Wookie upgrade to Wookie Warrior. Upgrade to Rodian Warrior. So oh, that's good. The planet of Ruria appears to be somewhat poor and struggling. You remember that this planet and the surrounding moons belong to the Wedge Antilles of the Ripple Alliance. The population is indifferent to you. Speak with the planet administrators. Welcome to Ruria. I am the administrator of this planet. Do you have any tasks I can help you with? My good sir, our planet has been going through such hardships lately. The harvest has been bad, and recently some merciless pirates took away our seed grain that we had preserved for the planting season. If we can't find some grain soon, we'll not be able to plant our fields, and we have nothing to eat for the coming war year. If you can help us, we would be indebted to you. How much grain do you need? 
think five packs of wheat will let us start the planning. Hopefully we can find charitable people to help us with the rest. Then we'll do that. Recruit volunteers. There are currently four rebel recruits available. You have 30 available spots in your party. You have credits to hire 14 of them. Uh, let's recruit four of them. And there's no one here. Let's land on the planet's surface. It's probably disrespectful to ride a speeder bike in the middle of their city. Oh, that's what the... I was scrolling my mouse down. It's not how you're supposed to do it. Rebel pilot, what can you tell me about this minor planet? That's rude. Welcome to Ruria, sir. Our planet and the surrounding zones belong to the Wedge and of the Rebel Alliance. Most produce hydro spanners, Ewok furs, Lashes, Silk, Oil, Dura, Steel, Flower, Wheat, Spice, Crawling, and Ale, blah, blah, blah. So that's the same as Yavin. How's life here? Latest rumor. I heard that Commander Ramar had a Squire X. Right. Double Commando. How's life? Okay, so nothing too juicy. I don't think there's a... There's a cantina here. The guy we already spoke to. I'd seen some actual chiss when I was testing it out, so I don't know if one of the files just didn't load properly. But we'll see. So let's leave. So I asked that's a hut world. I don't think it'll matter, because we're not officially rebel. Let's see. Yeah, that's not. That's too much. If we fight on the ship, it's a lot more crowded. So let's land and fight on Raxus. Hero. Our troops are ready for battle. We'll do the same thing we did before. No. That did a lot of damage. That's good. Oh crap. We're all dead. We're all dead. Be very, very quiet with hunting rabbits. There can't be that many of them left.
No! Ah, uh, that sucks. We need a medic. Used to want to fight. Well, it's just the one guy too. That really sucks. Ah, uh, they're all dead. You have one troop. Oh, let's do it. Units are deployed to the battlefield. Just us and that guy. Mano a mano. We'll still have at least six of our guys left. Hopefully it's the good ones. Then we can try to recruit some more. Got him. All right. Can't do any of that. Oh. It was all of our crappy guys that lived. We can upgrade our level. Ooh, open jacket. That's some upgrades to our stuff, at least. So twenty three, thirty six. Let's grab as much of this as we can, really. Clothes vest. Some nice uh, shooting glasses. Energy shields. Leadership eyepiece. I like leadership. Large clip of plasma gas stuff. Plus eight to head armor. So maybe we'll do that. There we go. And, and we can sell a lot of this stuff too. So... What is this even? Force block. Ammo belt. We can't take too much, so we'll try to take whatever's most valuable. Gavenger armor. Plus 35 to body armor, I'll take that. And... Alright. Okay, so we can get back to Yavin. I think we'll do that, and then that's what we're going to do for the episode. Uh, I don't want to go too far into hut territory now, because that was scary. We'll try to go down to, like, Finder or something. So we'll... I wonder if they'll change anything in the... Uh, in the cantina. Let's just check that quickly, and then we're going to end the episode. Will there be any characters we can recruit? Or maybe some new infantry we can train with? What I might even do between episodes is do some of the arena training. And then, uh... Well, at least be in a slightly better position. Colonist. I am a drink. Weak way. Okay, so it looks like there's, uh... No one new there. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's recruit. See if we can recruit.
We have... We do have a lot of credits. So I'm going to grab a couple of these Wookiees. And... Let's get a Chiss. And an HK. Oh, we don't have enough credits. Never mind. Okay. So, I guess I should leave. That's going to do it for today's episode. We'll be back on Thursday with the next bit. I may also do some streaming of this. I'm probably going to do a lot of streaming of this playthrough. Uh, but I do really enjoy this game, so... Uh, we're going to do our best as long as the game stays stable to make our way through it as much as we can. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're, enjoy you're going to enjoy the series. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. If you enjoyed this video, here are some more videos you may enjoy. Also, please consider becoming a subscriber, leaving a like, a comment, or becoming a patron on Patreon today. Your support is what keeps the channel going and is greatly appreciated.